there are lots of devices that you can buy off the internet for a few dollars or home or build them yourself, which can be used for these attacks. And here are some we prepared earlier. So this is a remote controlled battery operated deauth and beacon flooding device, which we built ourselves based on open source software. It's used to disconnect devices from a Wi-Fi network and stop them from reconnecting. It also generates fake APs, so you don't know which one to log back onto. It can disable a Wi-Fi network indefinitely. Total cost, $5. You can build these into anything, like a watch and, as you can see, a tennis ball. Now, there are protections against deauth attacks, but even Telstra's latest router was only patched for this in July last year. Many organisations have old routers or they're not up to date with their patching. Next, oh, sorry. Next, we have a Wi-Fi pineapple, which you can buy online from Hack5 for $100 US. And this is used for many attacks, mainly man in the middle or evil twin attacks. And it can automatically detect stored networks on a target device and spin up a fake AP within seconds. And even WPA3 won't protect against that. And this is our version of an OMG cable. We've built it in a USB key format instead of the cable, and it can be remotely controlled to deliver a payload to the target device. And you can see how small that is. And finally, this is a Ponagotchi, which may look very cute, but it will automatically attack networks and capture password hashes ready for cracking. 